Right. Fourth War equipment are doing portable gaming tables. Okay? Okay. Now, with a difference. This is not like your Games Workshop gaming table where it's just the surface. This is the actual table itself. Are you, are so you, it's like portable legs. Are, are you sure? It looks similar. It comes in a pack. It's sort of similar. It comes in a pack. Big black bag. And let's see. Weight-wise, that's not bad. That's not bad. Right, so. Am I going to be surprised by this, am I? They have went to Kickstarter with this. Right. And they have sent us one to check it out. This is a prototype. Uh, you guys haven't seen this yet. No. So well, I want to see, basically, what we think of it. So, okay. let's uh, get it cracked open. Let's crack this open, like okay. So, it comes in a bag. Uh, the bag itself is going to be somewhat similar to this bag, I'm told. Um, with a nice kind of uh, logo actually sealed into the bag itself. And ta-da! Uh, that is one of the tails. That's, yeah. that's kind of cool. It is kind of cool. We've got the we logo. Yeah, so this is the side. fourth war logo. Okay, these are the legs, and that's the table surface. So there should be three of these in this. Ooh. Hello. What's this? Okay, I'm going to talk about that in a minute. So let's get that okay. over to one side. All right. So first things first, let's move this out of the way and start building this till we see how it goes together. All right. So, like, you want to grab one end of this? Okay, so the table itself goes together by basically flipping the legs up mm -hmm. as quickly as that, and then, velcro. and then it has Velcro, and the Velcro just goes like that, and then the same on the other side. Just here and there. Flip the whole thing over. Bob's your uncle. Whoa, yeah. that's pretty cool. That's... That was about 10 seconds to put that together. Yeah. Now I'm told that the table itself will handle at least 100 kilos. Um, let's, let's get that. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. Don't you do that. Okay, <laughs> I'm over 100 kilos, but at least 100 kilos. This is 2 foot by 4 foot. This is a single module. And then they also do, are going to do these rubber mats, okay? Now these are rubber mats that have a printed design on them, yeah. okay? And uh, you know, this like is one of a here? one of a two-piece, okay? So you get two of these and that will give you a space kind of battle uh, type mat. As you can see, it fits that's I mean, perfectly. Well, nice. I noticed we've got like, um, what is this, magnets on the side? Correct. Yeah, big Build build me another table and we will see yeah, what they're for. One, we'll so we'll just move this here. Justin, you grab this. Yeah. And we'll take another one out. Yeah. Oh, let's just build it in there. Oh, well, we'll take it out. Apparently. I suppose you're going to go that quickly. Yeah, that didn't take very long at all. Okay. Yeah, I'd probably see a vendor or something going to a small event with a couple of these. Well, it is portable after all, so. Okay. And there we go. There's part two. Now, this is where it all starts to get very, very interesting. Because they're modular, they put these magnets. So these magnets, again, this is a prototype, so the magnets will be put on by hand. Yeah. It'll actually all be machined or whatever in the, in the final one. What you have the ability to do is just to click your tables <laughs> together. Okay, that's fun. That However, cool. they're around all four edges. So if you wanted, you could start to create gaming tables that are modular in other ways, or even L-shaped. Even, so, even if you're doing a little stand at an event, you suddenly got yourself an L-shaped desk to work on. Well, yeah, but we're talking about gaming tables here. <laughs> well, it's a game. <laughs> <laughs> so you move this around. This to weird places. There, what? you have the beginnings of uh, one half of an 8x4 table because it is joined at this end as well. Right. So for campaign tables, yeah. where you maybe have a table part linking the table yeah. and then another table, this is your job. Let's, Let's get the last one built. Right. Yeah. Roll this one upside down put it on top. Yep. So there we go. Piece of cake. Yep. 
just a little bit. There you go. Job done. Open over. Play roll it. Okay, so let's put it together as a gaming table. Okay? So there's a... Uh, you could put it together like so, with each of the pieces sitting side by side. Yeah. Okay. Stuck together. So that's it. All stuck together. Stability-wise, do you know what? That's not bad, st stability-wise. You know, for some we popped up, what? What's that been, 10 minutes? Is that less? Five minutes, been less. Five yeah. minutes max. So it goes together nice. Let me show you size-wise. We'll grab a... Uh, the classic, the classic grass, mat. Mat, grass mat, just to check it. So... <laughs> there like, we go. It's like pretty much inch perfect, isn't it? Yeah. Near enough. So, there is a table. So Bam. if you're a gamer dad and you don't have a lot of space, press it. Well, I've been looking at this from the perspective of st space. Right. There are lots of different types of people that might want to pick up something like this for lots of different types of reasons. Yeah. Okay. For me, I'm thinking about clubs. One of the yeah. issues that we have at our club is that we don't have tables that are designed to be at kind of gaming height. What we have is we have, but we've got like four by four boards. Uh, yeah. And then we're using the tables that are in the in the little venue. Yeah. But like you say, they're not really they're the yeah, size, and our boards they're can't handle the sides. Yeah. Whereas this. You can pack it away, and then at the end of the night, you can put them. You could put a few of these away into a storage room, yeah. and take up a, take up a, a lot less space, yeah. and they're light enough to move around yeah. for club members well, as well. Well, I see our, I see our, I see in most good, good cars. Yes, yes, no problem. I see our glass mat moves around, but let's let's bring that. Let's try their rubber mat, uh, well, because I, I believe that they're working on on a whole series of table toppers for this. But once you put that rubber mat down. It's going nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> that, that doesn't go anywhere. Really. Yeah. yeah see, even that grass mat, you know the stuff you guys got from the table topper to our club? Yes. Yeah, but that beneath it, job's good. So, there is Very cool stuff. one layout. But let me show you another configuration. Okay. If you decided, I wouldn't recommend it, but it would, it would work. If you decided that you wanted to actually um, put a texture on the right. top of this, you could, in theory, um, go ahead and build your hills and stuff into the corners modular board style. Yeah. And you'll run rivers modular style where each river would connect to another river. Because if you take away two of these, and we just turn it around, yeah, it'll quite happily join up that way as well. And there you go. Yeah, so if you actually mold on stuff to each of these. Yes. So, okay, so finally I want to spin it around once more and bring this here. Okay, so here we have that going in there like that. And that just clipping onto the edge there. Now let's talk about the build construction of it all, okay? It is cardboard, okay? So it's light, it's durable. You don't want to get it wet, though. Yes. Certainly this version you don't want to get wet. We'll have to find out if they're going to work on a version that is going to be more resistant. But anything that's kind of paper-based, you don't want to get wet. But how many of us play games in the rain these days? For what it does, is really cool. Yeah. I think it's because great. I, I noticed that it was really light. Every, every yeah. bit of that's really light compared to like that. What is the Games Workshop one? Well, we pack into a bag that doesn't have legs, so you just yeah, have the, the, sort of the things just half ton on your shoulder. I know they're two different products, but they they say that one's portable. God, try carrying that for any like the distance that plastic one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, the the other test to quickly do to it here is the model test. Yes. Okay. Three models. Now they tell me they've designed this. If you'd lift your hands off it, uh, okay. They've designed this that if you that there's an overhang r running right around the table, so yep. you've no problem getting right up close yep. to the table. And if you do accidentally kick it, and it's just a little bit of it, so everybody sits still. Yeah, the whole thing has has got. It's been engineered to have 
kind of like a, a bit of give so as it can take a kick or whatever <laughs> without the whole thing. Well, so, boom. So, so has earthquake, earthquake, earthquake engineering in this, isn't it? Earthquake <laughs> engineered gaming tables. So, there you have it. Cool, if good. you've got limited space, this might be worth a look. Yep. If you're running a club and you don't have actual dedicated gaming tables and you want to be able to, to have more flexibility for moving the club around to different venues, mm. this could well be the, the thing. What, what, about, what, what about camping? <laughs> no, I, I don't think you're taking you, this to Glastonbury. If you don't get it wet... Yeah, provided you don't get it wet. You're, you're getting it wet. Glastonbury, Besides, you could you'll have live in it. Is somebody drunk off the head thinking they're a wrestler and just chokes me through that table. So we'll, we'll, as much fun it would be, it's a waste of a table. But it might take their weight, you never know. Yeah. Do you know what? Let's find out. Oh, let's right, find out. Justin, right. let's see. Alright, okay. see, see so, as I'm the light one. Okay, so you get him. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay, right. this right. is risky. And ta -da. there. Ta -da. And if right. you're not into your gaming tables, uh, there's a portable autopsy table. Uh, yeah, you Head see, back. I, I'm almost expecting the laser just to be coming up between my legs. <laughs> <laughs> we expect you to die, Mr. Bond. <laughs> okay, guys, we'll leave you at that. Uh, 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 cracking, cracking little product. Good, good luck getting off there. Yeah, see you, Justin. Bye, Justin. Oh, Bye, come guys. on. Bye. Get back here. This isn't funny. Get back here. What the hell am I getting off this thing? Bye.